Remember those bogus, astronomically inflated security fees that colleges charge student groups to host conservative speakers? Well, they backfired on one school, which now has to pay more than seven times the fee that they were trying to charge the students. Let's take a look. That was part of the action from a rally with the Patriot Prayer Group, hosted by the University of Washington's College Republicans chapter. But while many people probably saw the short bouts of political violence on YouTube, relatively few individuals looked into the cash money side of the equation, which is barbaric in another sense. The University of Washington's College Republicans chapter sued the school after UW tried to charge the group $17,000 in security fees for the rally. And now, the school has to pay $122,500 to two law firms that defended the students, as well as strike down the policy it used to charge security fees. The conservative students' argument was pretty straightforward. The security fees violated their free speech rights. They had backup from UW's own law school. 23 professors there asked the university to settle the case. Well, this is one occasion you'll hear me agreeing with professors. Security fees are discriminatory because they're based on how likely a speaker is to attract violence. And as we all know, one side of the political aisle is a little bit more inclined to use violence. This is largely why when Louis Farrakhan, who called Hitler a very great man, came to UC Berkeley, the school charged a security fee of $1,900. But when Ben Shapiro visited, the school charged the Berkeley College Republicans over $15,000. And it was no different with UW. Patriot Prayer leader Joey Gibson has been assaulted at rallies in the past and has received death threats, facts the school mentioned when justifying its $17,000 security fee. Fortunately, a U.S. District Court judge stepped in with a restraining order, letting the college Republicans carry on with their event. Now, I do take exception to one part of the settlement, this weird caveat which allows UW to create constitutionally permissible security fees. We'll have to find out what those look like, but one thing's for sure. Students shouldn't have to shoulder the cost for other people's inability to counter speech with more speech instead of fists, pepper spray, and bike locks. But who should foot the bill? Let me know in the comments below. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.